Should I throw some snow? If you want. <laughs> <laughs> Hello Snack Pack, welcome back to Travel Snacks. This episode is all about my experience during the winter wonderland of Texas, which we are currently right in the middle of. That's why my face looks so cold right now. In this video, I'll be sharing my perspective, staying in the van during freezing cold temperatures, going through rolling blackouts at my son's house. This is extremely unusual for Dallas, Texas in the United States, and I just happened to be here for it. So yay me, I guess. And although I've been doing okay during this time, there are so many others that are struggling and suffering. So I will be leaving a link in the description of this video with resources and ways that you can help if you're able to. So let's jump right in. So yesterday was Valentine's Day. When you're watching this, it's not gonna be. So I asked my son if he wanted to go have brunch. So he got into my van, we started to drive off and I was driving super, super slow, but the streets were icy. And so when I came to my first stop sign, my van skidded a little bit, nothing major, but enough to make me think this is probably not a good idea. I ended up staying in his apartment pretty much all day until about 10.30 last night. Then I came into my van and the ground was just full of snow and ice. My heater started to work right away and I had it set to a temperature that was comfortable so that I could just leave it all night. I've not done that so far. It didn't even drain the diesel tank down by half, so that's good news. But about four in the morning, it was actually too hot in here, so I turned the heater off. But then about an hour later, it was freezing. So I hit the remote control on my heater and kind of fell back asleep. And then an hour later, I woke up so cold, the heater never kicked on. So I was like, what the heck? So I clicked it again and kind of just lay there shivering. And I'm like, this isn't working. At this point, I was like, let me start my van to make sure that it starts. And the whole windshield was covered with ice. I left that running for at least a good 30 minutes. Now, all this time I'm thinking that my solar panels are covered in snow. So I'm not sure how much juice I have in this battery back here, but also I have a solenoid. So if I keep the van running, it's also charging my back battery under my bed. But mainly I need to go back over to get some gas, not only for my van, but for my diesel heater. Uh, the window coverings are doing pretty well, but they're not meant to like fully keep your van warm. They're just like a, a slight help in terms of insulation, but it's not gonna do anything. If I didn't have this heater, I wouldn't be staying in the van overnight. The gas station is closed. The snow is about six cool. inches. And I have my gray water tank underneath the van and the outlet, the exhaust for my diesel heater under my van. So the snow is just swiping past those things. <sighs> All right, well, I'm just gonna go and get a few groceries. Now I'm probably not gonna sleep in the van tonight because this tank will probably last me one more night. But if there's gonna be snow on the ground for the next few nights and these gas stations are closed, I'm not gonna be able to refuel. Okay, so I just went into the store. People have cleaned out that store, especially all the produce. I think it's just time to go in and not be trying to be on these elements. I don't know how people do this that live in these kinds of elements all the time. I guess they just stock up and they know, but I'm not used to this. I'm from California. Oh, good news is when I got out of the van, I looked under the van and it doesn't seem that the gray water tank is down low enough for it to scrape. It might be getting a little bit on the bottom, but I don't think it's doing any damage, so praise Jesus on that. Also, my solar panels are totally covered. Good morning. Yesterday, after I tried to get gas, I came to my son's house, and about one or two o'clock in the afternoon, the power went out, and we were like, okay, it's gonna be out for like an hour, but no. About seven hours later, the power came back on, and it was great, and I plugged some things in, and one hour later, it went back off. What is the temperature? It's 10 degrees outside. It's freezing. But when I woke up, it was five degrees. So it has gone up five degrees. <laughs> so basically I'm just sitting here in my son's house, bundled up as best as I can. Last night I did sleep like this with this over my nose. And that did help. So thank you to all you <laughs> that provided that tip. Listen, this has been quite the experience, but you know what else is quite an experience? Being part of the snack pack, 
All you gotta do is hit the subscribe button and you might as well hit the notification bell. And since you're already there, throw a like on it. I'm just staying positive and trying to remember that I'm strong and tough and God's got everything covered. But I know there's a lot of people that aren't doing so well. I've heard so many sirens outside. So I pray that the power comes back on soon. I'm procrastinating. I need to go down to the van and start it up. <sighs> Holy mother of all. Just that little short walk to my van, my hands are burning hot, frozen. I think I'm gonna turn on my diesel heater just to make sure it works and... Oh. Do you hear that? That sound of the engine isn't sounding very great. Okay, well, I'm just gonna give it some time. Oh. Okay, so the light still works, so that's good. I have an icicle growing out of my faucet. These are all my supplies that I'm supposed to be using to finish the trim, but that's not happening. Remote. Okay. And that goes right here. Okay, so it did click on. Let's see. If so, it would start in a few minutes from here and I start and I'll start hearing it blowing. Oh my gosh, my hands are burning so freezing. Okay, I also need some more underwear. It's a bad time because I was supposed to be doing my laundry and I brought my laundry up to my son's house and now I can't because the power's out. Pray that I have at least one pair of underwear. Yes. Oh, I hear my heater going. Yes. I can barely do anything with my hands like this. Come on, heater. I hear the heater kicking on. Oh yeah, the heater's kicking on. Ooh, ooh. It's gonna be warmer in here than in my son's house. <laughs> but I might just sit in here for a hot minute, to be honest, just to warm up my hands. Another thing that needs to be fixed on the van, the doors are not sealed very well. Last night I put these socks in the crevices. Two things, number one, this power outage, these rolling blackouts are throughout most of Texas right now. Pretty sure that even a hotel's power is gonna be out. And even if it's not out, I'd have to drive over to a hotel. And so I'm not comfortable driving really anywhere except for maybe to a gas station. And that leads me to my other thing that I've been getting a lot of DMs saying, oh my gosh, so cold. <laughs> I've been getting a lot of messages and DMs saying, just drive somewhere else, drive somewhere, drive somewhere south. This van is heavy. If it starts to slip and slide, I don't have any control over it. And I don't want to put myself in danger, but really I don't want to put anybody else in danger. I couldn't live with that. So I'd rather just stay put and suck it up. I'm somebody that believes that people need to do hard things. Do I wish this on myself? No, but I'm already in the circumstance and I can do hard things. I can get through this. I'm gonna let this run for maybe like 10 or 15 minutes, grab a couple other things, and then go back into my son's house and get under the covers and try to warm up. Poor little Alex froze. Oh no, her branches are so rigid, <laughs> poor thing. Brought this in for my freezer. This was supposed to be my Valentine's Day treat, but I didn't ever eat it. And since I like them frozen, it's already frozen brought in my bible because you always need the lord with you i had one extra of these lights i got at dollar tree so i'm gonna put this in the bathroom because every time i try to go to the bathroom i can't see and i have to bring my phone
Oh, Just checking open. to see if you're open. We are. Okay, thank you. signs or something on the actual pumps so people don't have to just sit there and keep trying Ugh. shout out to blaine for picking us up and taking us to drive around so he gave us a few pieces of firewood because my son has a fireplace but didn't have any wood when he dropped us off the power was back on praise god i'm still bundled up because the heater in my son's apartment there's only one vent so to heat up this whole room takes quite a while even when it's not freezing outside it's been at least an hour and i'm still cold so i put jackets along all the edges of the windows and the doors all the cracks at the bottom so that all the heat will just stay in this one room. I'm gonna leave the wood for just in case the power goes out again because I heard it's supposed to be rolling blackouts for the next few days and I have everything charging and all the outlets right now but I'm keeping all the lights off and I'm trying not to use too much power because obviously everybody's trying to do that so I'm trying to be conservative with my needs. Still cold but right now I think it's 19 degrees which is a lot better than five degrees. You guys want to see something cool? Lights. Okay, so but for reals. Oh, I have my mask on inside because I was covering my nose because it was freezing. The power has been on and off all day, but mostly off right now. My son's in there making videos for his channel and I'm recording right here. We are just trying to get some work done. We also have some food in the oven. So hopefully the power stays on long enough for us to finish cooking some dinner. Okay, the power was on and off all night but it's been on for at least the last hour, so I thought I would jump in and get a quick shower, which you might think you could have taken a shower at any time. Yeah, I could have, but it was freezing in here, so who wants to take a shower and then get out into the freezing cold air? And now I'm gonna blow dry my hair while the power is still on, so that I can get warm, and then see what happens for the rest of the day. Bye. The heater's been on for the last hour, but it is still cold in here, so I'm trying to hurry up, but this blow dryer is making me warmer, so. It's great. And after this, I'm going to try to throw in a load of couple underwear and bra and one outfit because I'm sick of wearing the same thing. gas station is back open so I'm about to fill up my diesel tank and my gas tank. Full tank. I find it funny that now 35 degrees is just like a walk in the park for me. I'm like oh 35 that's nothing I'm just gonna go out and get gas right now. <laughs> but I'm telling you there's a huge difference between 5 degrees and 35 degrees. Bye for now. <music> Snack time. Snack time.